Hello and welcome back to now episode 53 I think. I'm um, sorry it's a few weeks late, I've had a lot of other things on, but it's just life basically in general. Um, patrons will also know that there's been a bit of a hiccup with another project that I had going on, but all will become clear in a few weeks hopefully whenever it's all resolved. Um, I am probably mad in the head, but there's a couple of shows coming up not too distant future and I've decided to set myself a goal to try and get this thing running and mm. see if I can get it out the door to one of those at least. I've been asked to attend a show in aid of Parkinson's down in Fermanagh, Northern Ireland in August. That's the one I really want to get to. Um, however, the Capri Club Northern Ireland has Indicatively, if that's the word, um, released that there's an opening season socially distanced run coming up in the not too distant future as well. I believe that's in five or six weeks. I don't think I've got a hope of getting mine ready for that, but got to try, haven't you? <laughs> got to give yourself a bit of a deadline every now and again. Whilst sitting at home, I have made myself list after list. I've got most of the stuff needed to bolt onto this to get her out the door, hopefully. Um, stuff like exhaust, I have the original mild steel there if I need to, if I'm stuck to put it on. I have my XXR wheels sitting there. I have a few different bits and pieces if it's a matter of me just getting her out the door ASAP. However, I'm not going to get anywhere without a running engine. So, without any further ado, I think it's time to get cracking. And number one on the list for the jobs in the engine is to get the cam cover sealed so that I can fit up the turbos and everything full time um, or permanently because they need to move to get the rotor covers in. So I've got these gaskets from Boost Performance meant to be better than whole standard ones. Um, he sends an instruction sheet with them of how to do it. So it's time to give this a go I think. too much on here. As you put too much on it just oozes out inside the engine, blocks up the oil pickup. Ask me how I know. <laughs>
Okay, I didn't bore you with the other side, it was just a repeat of that side. That's them both on now, hopefully for the last time. They are notoriously hard to seal, Cosworth Rugger covers. Um, if they're not leaking out of these stupid seal things here, they're leaking out of the back corner onto the exhaust manifold, or if they're not leaking out of the actual cover at the back corner, they're leaking around the spark plugs, filling up the holes and dripping out the back out that hole so yes as you might be able to tell I detest them with a passion so let's clean up any silicone residue and um, yes glad to have that done and um, now they're on for good I can start thinking about plumbing the turbos up fitting the turbos and getting the downpipes made properly and getting everything nicely cable tied into place. I'm going to lift that fuel rail off again um, it's only sitting there temporarily run the wiring up and then I'm going to start plugging the engine in basically a few bits and pieces to finish filming on the engine not filming, I'm filming now a few bits and pieces to finish wiring on the engine I have the oil pressure uh, sender to plumb and wire, I have the knock control into the cabin, just needs finished off. Um, what else have I forgot to do? I was going to put oil temperature as well, so I need to figure out a place for it. And yeah, apart from fuel lines and a few other bits and pieces, I think that's the engine sealed up, buttoned up, ready to try and start. I'll probably find another million things to do before then, but yeah, <laughs> hopefully that'll come next. So, as of the next part of this here, um, I'm going to try and get the fuel lines run up in. Um, I now have all the fittings required to do so, so if I get the fittings onto the wee link pipes from the fuel rail to where the filters are going, get the filter mounted and get the fuel lines mounted that are going to the tank. So, and I have the filter with the right fittings on it, um, this is the filter that came off my red car and it's basically a perfect match for the paint on the car, so it was a sign, but anyway, that's the filter on with the, the flow in the right direction. I'm going to mount it somewhere here, I don't quite know just yet where, but it's going somewhere here anyway. Um, I don't know, but I need to work out of another couple of bits and pieces to go into this engine bay yet. I have my catch can system to go into, and I've done a bit of a U-turn on the braking situation. Um, the, hang on. Uh, the servo is now going back in. That should be there somewhere. So I was intending to put my breather bottle down in here but long story short cut short um, I'm gonna try and fit this standard servo again um, I know it fits because I had the turbo down pipes and stuff made before I took it all apart so it shouldn't be a big deal um, if I get the oil catch can if I get it put over somewhere down in there it would be good but I don't know if it'll work like that Apologies by the way if the sound and video isn't great. I'm trying out a new camera and a new wireless microphone setup so that my voice should hopefully stay the same level the whole way, no matter how far I am from the camera. So you can let me know what you think. And um, the microphone was purchased thanks to the lovely patrons. So it is making a difference, hopefully, for the better. Um so yes. I need to work out now where this is going, so I'm gonna somehow get this mess here. Untangle. There we go. That was easier than I thought. Now then. I think I'm going to run this up. Maybe you can't see that from there, but I'm going to run it up the inside of the battery cable. And then. 
put it down there. Let me go get my catch can. The inlets and outlets in this thing are all switchable, so I can put the outlets over here if I need to and move this in. Can't go there, there's a downpipe there. Can't go over there because it sort of has to go here somewhere. So if I was to keep this up high and put the fuel filter in underneath it, somewhere in there, that would work. Yes, that would work. So, keep it down as tight to that bulge there as I can. And that should work. To mount it, I'm going to use some P-clips. Um, they're going to, they're the right size for the filter. So, I believe it a rubber on them to stop turning. So I need now to take a measurement of how far apart these are. And try and get holes drilled down there for them. Right, I'll take a, take a wee measurement of the centers. So, I have since decided that I need to mount this first. I have swapped the sight gauge and inlets and stuff all around on it. This is going to go down here, and then the filter and the check valve are going to go above it. Um, for the simple reason that if I put this up here, where it looks the best, I can't get anything onto the pipes because they're too close to the bulkhead. I probably could space it out, but if only I had a lathe that worked to make a spacer. I think it'll stay where it is there, as long as I can get the fittings onto it. That should be that sort of square. It's hard to get at this one. Only slight problem with this microphone now is you can hear me all out of breath. So, that is the catch can sort of into place. Um, the line is going to be too tight to come straight from here, straight down. So it's going to go in a bit of a loop. Um, something. Something like that. So I'm going to get a bit of tape, put it on here, then I know where to cut. Okay, so somewhere in around there, then that needs cut on the tape, and um, then that'll hopefully fit in nicely. Same with the other side, uh, onto the back fitting there. I don't think I have enough room for the weld AN12 fittings onto that bottle, so I'll probably end up uh, just putting 
Jubilee clips are finishing, clips are jumping on, but I'll work that out in due course. Anyway, um, I think while I'm at this, I'm going to finish off this PCV system and make a couple extra hoses up and then get back to the field filter. Okay, so that's the muckle catch tank fitted and plumbed. I have one more plumbing bit to do to a fitting down in here somewhere and it'll go onto this bottom fitting. Um, but I don't have the car in the lift at the minute, the lift's occupied, so doing what I can on the ground. That's pretty simple to do, just need to order an adapter to go 90 degrees and I think we're sorted for that. Um, as for the original task, it's now time to get the fuel in. So, filter is going to go on here someplace. Um, just need to get the P-clips on and then mark where I need the drill and then rev nut and fit. Simple, says he. Not simple in real life, but goes. I've taped up the hole in the muckle catch tank so I'm not filling it full of crap. Don't know if this will work or not, just trying to take the burr off. Did work, thankfully. So, after much persuasion later, um, the AN fitting is now on the end of the fuel line coming in. The other ones should be a bit handier because I can do them in the bench. Trying to do that, those PTFE lines are hard to do in the vice, never mind trying to do them freehand. I did buy um, see, I did buy some of these. Uh, I understand the point not in focus, hang on. <laughs> um, this is a wee handheld vice, which I actually bought for a store uh, for the channel, but I ended up using it and it's very handy to have. Just clamp the fitting in this on the ground and then you can work away. So I have three of these somehow, so I'm gonna do them up and use them instead of selling them. They're flipping very handy. Okay. I need to get the wiring up into the valley of this and get the injectors and stuff all plugged in so that I can get everything buttoned up. So I'm going to take the fuel up out again because it's handiest. I think it should be handiest anyway. <laughs>
Okay, so at last it feels like I've made some progress. Um, rocket covers are on, as you saw. The wiring's all in underneath the fuel rail and all buttoned up onto the injectors and coil packs and stuff. Anything that still needed to be ran is poked out the front, ready to go. Um, I have the catch can system in and working. Um, I have the fuel filter coming. It's all connected up to the tank and everything now, and it's onto the fuel reel. I have left this. Which is a one-way check valve thing on. Not because it needs a one-way valve on the return, but it was the handiest way I could think of to distinguish between feed lines and return lines. And also, if I ever lift the engine out, it's just a matter of me cracking it off down there instead of having to take the plenum off, which was a pet hate of mine. If you ever needed to do anything to the car, you had to disconnect everything and take the plenum off and reseal it and all this carry on. So at least now there's going to be a multi-plug behind the engine, which I haven't done yet on the wiring. I'm going to test it all first before I start cutting. Um, there'll be a multi-plug back there, two fuel lines to disconnect and a few other pipes and wires to disconnect off the power strain or whatever. And the engine should drop down out in one unit. Hopefully not needing to, or I'm hoping not to need to have it out too often, but it is handy. <laughs> so yes, I think that'll do me for this episode. Um, sorry, it's been a bit late. It's been a bit manic of late. Um, with just life, etc. But we'll get there. Um, yes. If you liked what you've seen, hit the subscribe button as always. Please do hit the subscribe button and hit the wee bell beside it to get notified of any new uploads. Um, one of the uploads coming up very soon hopefully will be the first start so you don't want to miss that one uh pop over to the socials which should pop up on the screen somewhere now and if you really like what you're seeing and you want to support the channel to help to grow the content into sort of better for you the viewer then consider popping over to my patreon the link should appear at the top right as a clickable link and it should appear in the middle of the screen and the description it's always in the description as i mentioned earlier on the video because of Patreon, I have been able to sort a new uh, microphone, wireless mic out, so hopefully that'll sort the audio levels, and I've been able to get my old digital camera, my SLR going as well, for better close-up stuff. So if you think it's made a difference, then let me know in the old comments section below. And if you're still listening, until the next time, bye. Yeah.